Two people die in an overnight fire in Buncombe County, trapped in their secluded cabin, gutted by flames. Yeah, the home had only one door, and the couple did not make it out. That fire was reported around 12.30 a.m., called in by neighbors at the summer home on Auten Circle. This is just off of Highway 9 outside Black Mountain. News 13's Frank Crocker joins us live from the Broad River Volunteer Fire Department. Frank, have the victims been identified yet? No, officials say their bodies are burned beyond recognition, so no positive ID. But they were believed to be husband and wife here from out of state, saying at their summer cabin that turned into a death trap. Investigators spent most of the day sifting through what's left of the small cabin hidden back in the woods in the Schumont community. By light of day, they are doing the tedious work of figuring out what happened here in the dark. The two bodies were pulled from the charred rubble this afternoon. Neighbors spotted the fire early this morning. We could see from our living room that the house was definitely engulfed in flames at that point. Officials say some neighbors were awakened by what they thought was gunfire. More than likely just loose ammunition or, you know, ammunition being uh, ignited, exploding due to the fire. Buncombe County Deputy Fire Marshal Terry Gentry says the first calls to 911 indicated the woods were on fire. You could see some underbrush was scorched, but there's no mistaking what burned hottest and why it burned so fast. There were, you know, two beds and uh, sofa, recliner, things like that, which is a high fuel load and creates a lot of heat. The small cabin was just 16 by 32, the size of a large living room. There was only one door, many windows, but those would have done the victims no good. Evidently, a lot of the summer homes have bars on the windows uh, to keep the bears out. Now, I don't think I want to wake up with a bear in my house, but I'd rather be able to get out when I need to get out. Investigators will never know if those bear bars prevented the couple from getting out safely. What we do know is cause of the fire still not determined. No foul play is suspected and autopsies must be done. We're also told that authorities will need dental records to make the positive identification. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Frank Crocker, News 13.